around. Well, how are you feeling, Jared? First of all, obviously not uh, not great if you're at home, huh? Uh, I'm actually feeling good. I, I I was not feeling great. Um, really, really Sunday, Sunday and Monday wasn't feeling great. Um, and then yesterday I woke up feeling fine. Today was kind of an abundance of caution. I feel pretty good. All right, so was Sunday your Jordan flu game then? I mean, what did <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, a great yeah. Sunday. <laughs> a little different circumstances, but yeah, sure. I guess we can say that. <laughs> no, that, I mean, maybe you could just, how were you feeling during the game? Ex explain that to us. Yeah, during the game, you don't feel it much at all. Um, and I'm I'm being dramatic, but I said I felt much before the game. It really kind of hit me after the game. Um, that adrenaline uh, kind of wears off and, and whatever this little flu bug that's going around um, kind of snuck up on me there. I, uh, I asked your quarterback coach about um, Ben Johnson. You know, he's he's kind of been elevated by Dan to have more of a passing game coordinator role. And uh, I, I'm just curious from your perspective, what, what that voice has meant in, in kind of the collaboration process of game plan for you? Yeah, Ben's been awesome. I mean, ever since I got here, he's been one of the guys that you can kind of rely on as um, a, a good voice and, and, and understands um, kind of everything we're trying to do. And um, since he's been in that role, uh, being able to lean on him and asking these questions and and having him take some ownership over some stuff has been really cool. And um, he's a guy who's got a lot of experience in the quarterback room and, and playing himself um, back back in his time. But it's uh, it's been a lot of fun to work with him. Is it almost been, I mean, sounds like the, the transition has been seamless or, or natural. Is that okay? Very, very. Two part question for you, Jared. Just to be clear, it is, is it the flu that you have or what, what, what type of illness is it? Uh, it's diagnosed as the flu, yes, but I, I, I feel great. Okay. And then on top of that, obviously we saw that you got the award today. Just to talk about how how differently this is. I know you won it before the player of the week, but after all you had to overcome, you know, this season to get it at this point. You know, talk about winning that award and what it means for you. Yeah, it, it's I mean it's cool. It's it's uh you know, usually usually you only win those when you're when you're winning games. So it's a credit to to us for for winning that one and um obviously a cool honor, but uh you know, can't do it with without all the other time on offense and really everyone on the team to win the game. Yeah, could you talk a little bit about the relationship you've developed with Coach Campbell and why that's important to you, important to the team? Uh, sure, yeah, we've developed a great relationship. I think, and even furthermore, ever since he took over play calling, um, that relationship is special. And, and as, as you grow together in that relationship, it it tends to bring you closer. And um, I think it has with us. It's been, it's been great. I think he's done a great job. And um, again, another guy that uh, I've been able to lean on and, and rely on since I got here. I think we're all intimately familiar with the COVID protocols at this point, uh, for better or worse. What What is the, the flu protocol for you? I mean, yeah. they're giving you kind of a prognosis for when there, you... There, well, there was no protocol before COVID uh, was yeah. a thing. Um, I remember a few years ago, you get the flu, you used to go home for a day and, and you come back the next day, and you're fine, or you don't go home at all. Um, but now, you know, I, it just seems like there's a heightened awareness around every illness nowadays. So uh the protocol is is i would have i would have been fine today i could have been totally fine to be at the facility today it was out of abundance of caution we've got a handful of these uh, going around and just wanted to take one more day we really you know didn't really practice we had to walk through just one more day of be safe and, and be good tomorrow i wanted to ask you about uh, denver you know obviously sunday night they, they played patrick in kansas city really really strong i think they lost 16 points patrick had 267 yards just what you see from them on defense and, and how good defensively you know they are i think they're third in points allowed this year yeah they've done a great job man they, they are good at every level um i i think anytime you're playing vic fangio defense you're gonna you're gonna have some challenges and they and they're, they're no different they do a good job obviously on the back end um, with you know the rookie Sertan, they got doing a great job. Darby and, and and Simmons also doing a great job, and Kareem Jackson's been around for a long time. Um, it's good, man. And, and I think you know the addition of Kenny Young, guy who I played with for for a couple of years, has been great for them as well. And then obviously up front, their pass rush is elite, um, so they can kind of do it at, at every level. They've been playing a lot of man coverage um, and doing a great job of it. Uh, it's it's a good defense, and, and it will be a challenge for us. Jared, what were you able to do from uh, home today in terms of preparing for the Broncos with your offense? Yeah, I did everything. Uh, I was able to be on the Zoom calls, and um, a handful of us were. And did everything except participate in the walkthrough. I was a part of everything. Hey, Jared, just on a, on a personal level, what did, what did Sunday's game mean to you? I mean, you've had lots of success in the league, but you know, people have been on you this year you know, from this side of things, and, and the team just hadn't, hadn't won any games. So what did it mean to get that one under your belt and play as well as you did? you know, uh, this past weekend. Yeah, I think it, it's, you know, it, it's it's kind of like we've talked about all year, like you go through 
you know, you work so hard and you do so many things right and you, and you continue to do the right things and you, you just come up short over and over again. And um, having one where we were rewarded for our hard work and were rewarded for, you know, the extra hours and all the, all the stuff you do as a football player and everyone does it and, you know, you're not promised anything, but, you know, we were rewarded for it and, and felt like there were some games earlier on in the year where, you know, we, we, we could have gone either way. Right. And, and I think finally you get one and, and you feel good about it and it's exciting. And, and for me personally, it's, it's no different. It's the same feeling, you know, you, you, you put in so much time and effort and you, and you want to win games and, and you just come up short over and over again and, and able to finish one and, and in the fashion that we did. Um, I, I think it's my first walk off um, in my career. So, I mean, just, you know, with all that and, and combined in, in it with, you know, even the Oxford stuff that was going on, it's, it's really a special uh, day for us last week. Jared wanted to ask you about uh, Kristen's reaction video. Have you had a chance to see it and uh, what her support has meant to you, especially after you get your first win? Yeah, I saw it. Uh, it looked, it looked great, man. It's, it's been awesome. She's been supportive, um, you know, our whole relationship. And uh, I, I know she was, she was joking before we left or before she left that if we won, you know, maybe she's, you know, needs to not come to any more games. So uh, it, it was a, uh, it was fun, but it was cool to see her reaction and, and cool to see um, that supportive. So it, it was fun. Um, I just had one other follow up on what Justin had asked about Ben Johnson too. Just, you know, I don't, I don't think we know him, you know, super well, obviously tight ends coach. So he doesn't maybe get get the, you know, the publicity that some other assistants do. Can you just expand a little bit on, on what he's done for the past year maybe and, and why, you know, where some of that, that knowledge comes from? I guess I know he played the quarterback position before, but um, I said again, I'm sorry. Just can you just explain a little bit more of Ben's impact on the passing game? What specifically has he helped with? Why has he, has, what imprint has he left on the passing game, I guess? Sure. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of what he's done is, uh, you know, bring ideas that he's had in the past and, and things that he's seen work to our offense and, and as well as, you know, molding off of some of the stuff that we have had success with or, or some of the stuff that he could see, he saw that could use improvement. Um, and a lot of that's been, you know, ideas of his concept wise, but a lot of that's just been, you know, his coaching and, and, and the, the details that he's instilled in our receivers and myself. And, um, you know, a lot of the stuff that he does daily that he sees and is able to apply to um, all of us. So he's had, a, he's had a big impact on me, obviously in, in our short time together now. And, um, he's done a great job. Do you have any idea where some of those ideas come from? Like when Kellen Moore was here, right? He used to draw plays in his locker. You know what I mean? Like it was just one of those things that he always had that coaching mind going. So do you know where some of that, the root of that is for, for Ben? Uh, you mean like what system or like where? You know, like, yeah, like where does the creative mind for him come oh, from? Oh, sure. Well, he's, I think he's just a, he's a coach at heart. I think that's just, you know, that's who he is. He's been a coach in this league I don't know what 10 years probably now and and he's still a young guy so he's he's just a he's just a you know he's a coach's coach he's a guy and, and he, he gets after it and um you know he's, he's always got ideas flowing and and I, I know he was with Gase for a handful of years there in Miami and and that's a good offensive mind there that he was around and um he's been all around you know Bevel last year here and uh he's been around a lot of good guys and, and has good ideas.